I'm Jennifer Coolidge, and this is my variety cover shoot. Mmm. What role are you most recognized for? Probably Paulette. You know, and also American Pie, so it's kind of a 50-50 thing. American Pie was pretty big and so was Legally Blonde. But I have to say, you know, I was in Europe and everyone kept coming over to me saying, I loved White Lotus. So I guess White Lotus really made it around the world. So that's cool too. Are there any of your iconic quotes from your movies that you're sick of hearing? Yeah, that makes me want a hot dog real bad. You look like the 4th of July. It makes me want a hot dog real bad. All day long and all night. Yeah, just so many people like say it on the plane for fuck's sake. <laughs> Exhausting, this hot dog story. You know what I mean? I just uh, have to go with it. I have to go with it and go, oh my God, that's, you sound just like me when you say that. Legally Blonde 3 is happening. How did you find out about it? Well, everybody keeps talking about it. I'm very excited about the script and stuff that's coming my way, but I haven't seen it. I don't I haven't seen it. Maybe this, this conversation will speed it up. Another Legally Blonde quote. Whoever said orange is the new pink was seriously disturbed. So orange or pink? Orange. I'm joking. Heels or flats? Mm -hmm. I guess uh, I like platforms. Do you ever watch The Real Housewives? I do, I, I do. I get a kick out of a lot of that. I think the one I watch the most is The Housewives of Beverly Hills, I think. What would your Real Housewives opening line be? I think mine would be like, if any of you girls say anything cunty to me, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. You were in Ariana Grande's music video for Thank You, Next. Yes. So which Ariana Grande song would you choose? Thank You, Next or Rain On Me? Definitely Thank You, Next, because I'm in it. Thank You, Next. Thank You, Next. Thank You, Next is sort of, is iconic. It's an iconic song. It shouldn't be a lot of heartache. I think you should just be like, you know what? This didn't work out. Thank you very much, but I'm moving on. Thank you, next. Have you ever gone out with someone that had no teeth at all? No. You slid into Ariana Grande's DMs and that's how you ended up in the music video. Right. Have you ever slid into anyone else's DMs? I did, well, I, yeah. Can't talk about it because he's in jail. <laughs> Who else's music video would you want to be in? I could plant the seed and you know, be in Lil Nas' next video. I'm just gonna put that out there. Which title do you prefer? First time Emmy nominee or MILF? God, I feel like this is a trick question. Do I have to answer that? I feel like I'm, it's a trick question. I was so happy for American Pie and the MILF thing, but also first time Emmy thing, what an honor. But also, you know, I got a lot of play of being a MILF and I, um, and I got a lot of sexual action from American Pie. Just, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just talking about, the, there were so many benefits to doing that movie. I mean, there were about like, like 200 people that I would have never had slept with. You've said you get seasick, but on The White Lotus, you had to film on a boat. Yes. Oh my God. Did you suggest filming on a set instead? Yes, I did. Mike White was very adamant. He was just like, no. I was like, we could just put one of those screens behind it. It could look like we're on the boat, but that way I won't get seasick. And Mike looked at me and he just goes, no. And that was that. And then you know what? I bet he regretted it about how many times I had to pull out the bucket. Actually, that's not true. I don't think Mike will ever change his mind about that kind of thing. He's like, so what? So you throw up, so what? Whatever, so you're sick for a couple weeks, so what? You know, because Mike is into suffering. I mean, I don't know if you've seen him on Survivor, but he can really go days without eating any food or drinking water or anything, you know, so he's, he thinks everyone else can do that. He wants everyone to rough it. You said you had to pull out the bucket. How many times did you throw up to get that shot? Well, I got sick enough that the rest of the cast members weren't really looking me in the eye anymore. There's nothing I could have done. I shouldn't be talking about that because it's not very sexy. 
I do think there's one thing I'm very sure of. I'm 100% sure people are gonna like White Lotus too. I don't know why, I'm just 100% sure. You have an upcoming film called Shotgun Wedding where you're co-starring with Jennifer Lopez. What was it like the first day you met? Jennifer was very cool. She really looks that pretty in real life. Like she's really that beautiful. But I don't know, I could have been playing cool. She might not have known how impressed I was. I don't know, I didn't go like, wow. Wow, you have it going on and uh, that ass. <laughs> what does it mean to you to be nominated for an Emmy? I never saw this moment coming. I, you know what I mean? Like my friends never saw this moment coming and this was such a fluky thing. That White Lotus and it was a big success and everything. So it's all a surprise and so it's very, very fun. Yeah, there's no bad side to this one, to this, yeah. I'm, th I'm, I mean, it's pretty cool. And I've had a couple ex-boyfriends that I would never have heard from unless that happened. You know, like, people are really that shallow. You know, now they're like, well, I don't know why, you're just on my mind. 